Hey everybody, I'm Steve Collins and welcome to another Capaya County, Hazelhurst, Mississippi, Black History Moment. It happened on this day, January 30th, back in 1936. An ex-slave died in Western Mississippi. His name was Bill Terry. Terry, who lived near the Western Cemetery for the past 50 years, was found dead in his home due to exposure from the weather. He was nearing the age of 90 years and had become very feeble during the past few weeks. The Boy Scouts of Western Troop No. 25 had been getting him fuel so that he might keep warm during the extreme cold days. Bill was an ex-slave. Following the close of the Civil War, he came to Wesson after obtaining his freedom and had been there ever since. During the recent years, all of his family died, leaving Bill all alone. Before we can tell you more about Bill Terry's life in Wesson, Mississippi, we need to take you back 100 years to help explain who we think Bill Terry may have been. According to the WPA, the Work Progress Administration's historical records, in the year 1830, the Negro slave population in Capaya County was about one to every four whites, but that was about to change. After that year, the slave population began to increase rapidly. By 1850, the slave census listed Capaya County having 5,092 slaves. Ten years later, the 1860 Capaya County census was 15,397. That included 7,432 whites, one free colored, and 7,965 slaves. There were more than 500 slaves in Capaya County during the 1860s than there were whites, not to mention that one free colored. More than 500, not to mention that one free colored. And it didn't say if that one free colored was male or female. But could that one free colored possibly, possibly been Bill Terry? Maybe or maybe not. Let's go back and continue with Bill Terry's life in Western Mississippi. According to the article, it states that Bill Terry lived near the Western Cemetery for the past 50 years, was found dead in his home last Thursday, which would have been January the 30th of 1936. So if Terry died in 1936, but lived 50 years in Wesson prior to his death, that means he came to Wesson or started living in Wesson near the cemetery in 1886. The article goes on to say he was nearing the age of 90 years, which means Bill was born around 1846. The article says Bill was an ex-slave, which suggests to me that Bill was born into slavery, and slavery wasn't abolished until 1865, according to the 13th Amendment of the United States Constitution. Following the close of the Civil War, in which the war ended on April 9th of 1865, this would have put Bill at the age of 19 or 20, or perhaps even 21. So at the age of 20, or perhaps 21, and during the year of 1865, Bill Terry obtained his freedom. And we don't know if after he obtained his freedom that he immediately came to Wesson. But we do know that he did come to Wesson and move near the Wesson Cemetery around the year of 1886. The census of 1860 states that there was only one free color living in Capaya County. Bill Terry 
didn't obtain his freedom until 1865 after the Civil War. But still, is it possible that that one freed color could have been Bill Terry? The article goes on to say that during the recent years, all of his family died, leaving him alone. Bill had always been known as one who tried to be a good citizen in every respect. He was polite to both old and young and never gave anyone the least trouble or worry. He worked as hard as anyone until his advanced age caused him to slow down to odd jobs here and there. He had many friends among both races. I wonder if Bill Terry's grave site still exists. And can it be found? If so, a historical marker should be placed there to remember Bill Terry, an ex-slave who died in Western Mississippi. I'm Steve Collins, and thank you for watching another Kapaya County, Hazelhurst, Mississippi, Black History Moment.